Hey everybody, Jeff aka J. Chris here. I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, I have another unboxing for you. This time I have the, it's the Generation 2 Ramjet. It is a Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Generation Select. Uh, as you can see, the corner, you see the op, little Autobot sign. Bottom, or the bottom of the box, it's nothing but legal garbage. You know, nobody gives a flying fuck about, I'll say that to the to the day I die. Nobody gives a shit about all the legal sh garbage that Hasbro pollutes their packages with. On the bottom front, you have the description of the figure. You have Ramjet, the back, Transformers War for Cybertron, side, of the Autobot sig uh, symbol, and then more legal shit on the other side. So, what is in this box? What does the figure look like? Stay tuned and I'll be right back with the opening. Okay, so let's see what this figure looks like. Uh, I got this figure from a friend of mine. His name was Aaron, or he also likes to go by an Aaron. I just want to say thank you. He ordered this for me from Amazon. So, they had this at a store in where I live but I took too long on wanting to get the figure and then the figure was sold out when I got over there and they're not sure they're ever going to order it again so I figured I better have my friend order it for me from Amazon which he did so thank you very much let's see here oh god this okay well there it goes okay so let's see what does this box have in it Wow, it's actually a little bit different if I remember. During the uh, sandstorm, if I remember correctly, his the, op the uh, container that he was attached to was plastic. This time, they're going with an all-out cardboard, you know, cardboard uh, containment or package, or whatever you want to call it. The only thing that's not cardboard are those fucking annoying the tie-downs that they use. What came in the box, you ask? And I'm glad you, you know, you wonder, and I'm glad you ask. Is there anything good for us that is an extra? Fuck no, it's Hasbro. You get nothing extra except for a shitty instructions on how to transform him. And hey, look. Look, more legal garbage. Fuck you, Hasbro. But let's take a quick look at this figure. So after spending an ungodly amount of time trying to free this poor motherfucker from its bondage I finally got this guy out of the box and I'm actually pretty happy with him I like the coloring it's a lot different than what has been released you know for this mold which includes Ramjet from this was part of a two that uh, was part of a two pack with dirge if I remember correctly uh, I think it was part of the Earthrise, Earth, if not Earthrise, then Kingdom. I can't recall exactly which, uh, which one it came from. So it shares the same uh, mold as you know the original Ramjet, and the one I recently got, Sandstorm. So not you know I'm pretty happy, pretty happy. I definitely like how they actually, you know, kind of gave you know work. They could have given him the same color for the cockpit window, the, the canopy or whatever you want to fucking call it. But they actually, you know, they went purple, uh, translucent purple. I like that. Congratulations, you did something different, Hasbro. Fuck you. Anyway. Overall, I enjoy it. I like the coloring difference. It, it definitely kind of clashes with all the others. The others, although colored differently... They all seem to have like a little bit of a uniform to them. This guy, he just fucking stands out. It's like, you know, he, he's w waiting to go to a rave, it looks like. This guy, I know it's fucking G2. Before somebody fucking says, that's G2, Jeff. I fucking know it's G2, dipshit. It looks like he's ready to go to a rave. He's, he's going to pop some pills and he's going to have some fun. Now, you're probably wondering, Jeff, what does this guy have... You know what? What accessories did he come with? Did he? This isn't. This is not a mass release like at Walmart and Target, if I remember correctly. I think this is one you can only get from either Amazon or Hasbro, Hasbro Pulse, or whatever the fuck they're called. 
the thing is, as I, uh, I I can't recall if it was an exclusive or not, but I do remember not seeing this guy in Target or Walmart or any of the normal release locations. So with that said, did you get something extra for the little bit extra that you paid? Fuck no, you got nothing new and extra. You get two of these differently, you know, two of these blasters. Here, let me see here. His little null rays. Now, the one thing I will give uh, Hasbro credit on is congratulations, you fucking figured out that you can use two colors for a weapon. Here is Ramjets. And here is Sandstorm's null rays. Literally the same fucking color. No... They don't add anything to like any to to br bring out the contours or anything. It's just the same fucking color. Even the goddamn handle is the same color. It's fucking cheap, cheap as hell. So this is actually a little bit different. Like I said, the base of the gun is purple. The barrel is black, and then the handle is also black. But congratulations, Hasbro. You've done something. You, you changed it a little bit. F congratulations. It only took you, what, 10 plus years? Fuck you. Anyway. So, like I said, you get two of these blasters. They may be d colored, you know, have different colors on them. You know, purple and black. But it's literally, it's the same mold as... Uh, I'm trying to hold it by there. There we go. It is the same mold and everything that Sandstorm has. And it's definitely the same as the two pack Ram Jet. Nothing new. So, you know, I give them I give them a little bit of credit for, you know, using different colors. Two different colors. Holy fucking shit. You did something different. Congratulations, Hasbro. Now get back to fucking work. But it's the same model, you know. I looked. At, I saw the picture of this figure on Amazon, and it looked. I thought it looked a little bit different. It looked like the, this was actually supposed to be a little bit smaller because he was holding it in his hand, and like a, like a normal blaster. So I thought, oh shit, this thing is. First, I thought possibly that this could have broke, you know, detached and become like somehow become two different weapons. No, nah, it was just a different photo that they took instead of having. The, you know, the null ray be at attached to his shoulder like this. They ended up having the figure just hold the blaster like this, you know, which, which, you know, I don't mind. It just, I think that's the first time I've ever seen, you know, a, a image of the a seeker holding their null ray like this. I can't recall them holding it like that before. I actually like it. It just looked a little bit smaller in the photo that I saw on Amazon's website. But like I said, I, I like this. This is not a review, by the way. This is not classified as a review. This is simply... Uh, 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 there it goes. Damn, he's, he's trying to hog all the fucking attention for me. But this is just literally like an... Um, uh, it's just an unboxing. That's what the fucking title says. But yeah, I like him. He's definitely going to be going as a proud uh, addition to the rest of my seekers. And when I actually have a like a duplicate figure and I display him like this guy, he's not a duplicate per se. He's a recolor, but it's basically Ramjet. When I have these figures, and they may have the same name like Ramjet Generation Two, and I may just give this guy a different name just to differentiate him because I love the coloring I love the coloring don't get me wrong I love the coloring I love the the neons very early 1990s for I, I just think this guy is better you know better color so this guy is ramjet I gotta find a uh, another name for this guy I gotta figure a name for this guy but rave bot yeah that's it he's gonna be rave bot he goes to the raves and he fucking just beats he, he just beats it at the at the raves you know God, that didn't even sound fucking. That didn't sound right. Jeff, do you have to say fuck so many times? Yes, I do. I don't give a flying fuck about the goddamn YouTube censors. So, but yeah, I love this guy. He looks fucking awesome. Am I going to transform him? No, no. Nah, I, I, 
I only transform a few figures that I feel comfortable because it's a known fact that a lot of these figures over the last few years have Q severe QC issues, especially when transforming them. So I'm just going to put this guy up with, you know, the rest of my figures. Oh, I was talking about the names. So you got Starscream, you got Ramjet, you got Dirge, you got Thrust. You got Ravebot. That's right. Instead of fucking trying to kill, help Megatron kill the Autobots, this guy just goes to the raves, gets drunk, and just, like, listens to that fucking annoying techno garbage. But that is my unboxing of Generation 2 Ramjet. Stay tuned, and sometime in the future I'll be doing a review. So until then, take it easy, everybody. Peace out.